Hey everybody, it's Christopher. Um, I'm out here by the lake again. Uh, the clouds opened up and it stopped raining for a little bit. So I wanted to try again um, on fishing and it did. I did pretty well. Um, not the first half of the few hours I've been here, but I eventually was like, hey, I have a shovel. You know, because I, I like to do metal detecting too. That's one of my little hobbies. Um, but I brought my shovel from my car and I dug a little hole and I was like, there's got to be um, some worms. So, because the fish, they were not liking my uh, lures. So I was like, dang it, there's got to be something. So I got my shovel I pushed it in the ground, I pulled it up a little bit, and there were plenty of worms. So I got a few worms, and that's when I started getting bites. Um, and I pulled out three smaller fish. I mean, they were the same as the other day, but I was a little excited. So if I come here, I'm just going to bring my shovel with me so I can get some worms. Um, oh yeah, and I wanted to talk to you about... Um, you know, I really, really, I appreciate my subscribers. And I'm not pushing people to subscribe to me to be able to monetize my videos. Because I'm not going to monetize my videos. I have a great job that pays me really good. I have money coming in. You know, I there's no reason for me to monetize my videos. The only reason I ask for subscriptions and stuff like that. I don't even care if you guys like my videos, <laughs> you know, but I like to interact with other people who have the same, um, you know, interests as me. So like camper building, traveling, stuff like that. Um, I watch so many people's channels and I like their videos, you know, I click like and I comment on some of them and you know, I just want to support all you and, you know, you guys can support me as well. So, um, so yeah, we'll just be supporting each other. I just wanted to let you know, I'm not pressuring anybody to subscribe to me because I'm going to, I want to monetize my videos. I think it's really cool that we just stick together as a group, as people who like the same interests. So that's one of the things. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know I did get a solar panel. Um, it's just the panel. I didn't get any kit or anything. Um, I couldn't resist the price of this panel. It's a 280 watt panel for $150. It's actually a, a solar world panel. Sun module it is. Sun module plus 280. Um, it's a mono crystalline. So, sorry, the bugs are like irritating me um it's a mono monocrystalline and now all i have to do is get the um mppt charge controller i'll probably get a 30 amp or a 40 amp because well 30 amp is plenty because i think this um panel can bring in up to 28 volts um or is it 20 volts? Anyway, I'm not too familiar with uh, solar yet. I'm, I watch as many videos as I can. Um, but I think a 30 amp would be sufficient for a 280 watt um, panel, which is the only panel that's going to fit on my roof <laughs> of my camper. So it's as big as the... I'm going to make the camper, the middle of the camper top um, pop up. So with canvas around and some windows, screened in windows, um, it, but it's just going to barely fit on that, that pop up. Um, and it weighs about 30 pounds. So it's going to be perfect. I'm excited. Um, I got it from a company. They're just starting up. They're getting, building a website and stuff like that, but they do have a Facebook. If you wanted to check them out. Um, oh yeah, this panel was $150. I know it's usually a hundred or one dollar per watt, but what they do is they buy in bulk and then they sell it usually to people who 
own homes who want to add like 10, 20 panels to their house, you know, um, but they do not mind, they don't mind if, you know, we buy a panel or two from them, so, um, if you want to look them up, their name is Man Solar, M-A-N-N Solar, um, they're on Facebook, so, uh, look them up, uh, I got, I had great service, I went and picked up the solar panel, uh, from their house, which they work out of, um, I think they install solar as well. I might even ask if, hey, can you uh, help me install it on my camper? You know, I'll pay you a fee for helping me out because I, I may need help. I'm not really sure. I've been watching some tutorials. Um, but the wife was very sweet when I showed up. And you should have saw us try to put that panel in my car. Um, it barely fit. And I was, you know squished well I wasn't that squished I was perfectly fine to drive home uh I lived I live like two hours from where I picked it up so it was interesting I have a couple pictures of the panel I'll show it to you right now And so basically that is, was the panel in my car. It was pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, that panel is going to fit right on the, the roof of my camper. Um, oh yeah, that's right. I'm going to go ahead and after I talk and hopefully I'm not blabbing anymore. But anyway, I'll put up, I did finish the framing around the windows of the camper and I'll go ahead and put that up. Um, it's another few minutes of video um, and show you what I did there. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And whomever is going to subscribe, thank you for just supporting me and being there. Thanks. Hey, everybody. So I am framing my window. So I went down here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I did some rigging. I marked the table so I can get it square. So this is going to be my frame around my window. I love it. So because I can't do window frames, you know, I'm pretty sure it's 45 degrees angle, but... You know, I have a square, but I'm not very knowledgeable about it. So, I don't do diagonals very well. So, I thought I'd just get these squares and then put this. I think that looks good. What's up? Oh, it's so nice. So, that's going to be painted yellow along with the door. Yeah, I'm so excited. Now I gotta do the other side. And what I'm not looking forward to is there's grass and it's a lot taller over here. But it's okay, I have a step stool ladder thing. Right there. But anyway, look at my little trick here. So I'm like, okay, I'm by myself. What am I going to use to help, you know, hold it? So I put the Tyvek tape on the back of each square. And uh, now I can hold it by myself. And pre-drilled spots and put a couple screws in and then finish so I, and I can leave the tape there actually so yeah neat so that's that so far I got it both frames also batten down the hatches
But yeah, I mean, I have some flashing, you know, sticking out over the edge. And I was thinking that I would put, I would make some simple, like, shutter-like things to put on the side there. But I'm not really sure. So, anywho. So there it is. And I also put um, the insulation in the cracks and I'm just gonna trim that off and then I'll find something to put over the edge there. Uh, but I pretty much sealed the whole edge. Yep. Oh yeah, and I also screwed down the bottom there. Yay, so I think I got all my screws in. So now I just need to put silicone and screw them tighter. <laughs>